Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is gonna be a test video. So um, after I did my last repair test, um, a lot of questions were brought up and I thought I had done a video similar to this already for FS22, but I did it for FS19. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna take a look at the effects on the harvest yield on including or regarding the damage to your harvester. So how much damage it has. We're also gonna look if it's affected by how many hours you put on your harvester or how old your harvester is. So those are the things we're gonna take a look at today. So we're gonna do one control test that has a no damage to the harvester. So it's 0%, the harvester is zero months old and the harvester has zero hours on it. So in its current condition that you see right here before you, then we're gonna harvest this field that you see and we're gonna test the yield on that. So we're gonna take a look at that yield and that'll be our base yield uh, to compare the rest of the test to. Then we're gonna do a test where we do um, a test where the harvester has 30% damage, 50% damage, 80% and 100% damage. Then we're gonna do a test where the harvester has 50 hours, 100 hours, and 1,000 hours. Then we're gonna do a test where the harvester has 12 months, 24 months, and 120 months on it, which is 10 years. So uh, we're gonna take a look at those various numbers to see if those things are affected or the yield is affected by those various things. And if so, how much is it affected by? I already did a test video on how yield is affected by if you harvest in the rain. So this is just kind of to take a look at a couple of things in terms of how the harvest is affected by the damage to your harvester, um, the hours that are on your harvester and the um, age of your harvester itself. So we're gonna take a look at those and we're gonna take a look at those all independently because I don't want them to get uh, confused between each other. And I'm using this harvester because if we go into the store here, this harvester, the Lexian 8900. First off, it's a base game harvester, and I'm using it in the configuration where it has the big um, grain tank capacity because 18,000 liters is the biggest base game grain tank, so we have less unloading to do. When it does need to be unloaded, I'm going to use the easy development control screen. So I'm gonna go into here, and I'm gonna go down to here, and I'm gonna set this to empty, and I'm gonna hit empty right here after I write down the fact that we had 18,000 liters in it, and then it'll continue harvesting without having to take too much time. Um, so it's not running for any additional time or anything like that. So. Uh, very simple in terms of how we're gonna run that test and then we're gonna harvest this field. I have the game saved right here with all of this in its configuration with the harvester off. Um, you can see down there in the center at the bottom, it says what the harvester's current uh, uh, capacity is and everything that, or, or excuse me, it shows what the harvester's current uh, uh, repair status is. It's at 100%, so it's good to go. And then I'm gonna have just a worker harvest this field. And then at the very end, we're gonna calculate or we're gonna write down uh, how much the yield is to get our control. And then we're gonna do that for each additional test by exiting the game without saving and then loading it back in. So that we make sure we have the same thing here. We are gonna do barley as well, because I wanted the yield to be fairly high. It's not gonna be a crazy high yield. I don't wanna be unloading the harvester a hundred times, but I wanted it to be a high enough yield uh, that we would notice a difference if there was one. So um, that's kind of what we have going here. So that's why we have it set up the way we have it set up. So. Regardless of that, we're gonna go ahead and get these tests started. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hire a worker, just like that, and then I'm gonna let them go to work and do their thing. We're not gonna worry about straw swath or any of that. We're not gonna look at the yield for that. We're just gonna look at the yield for the barley on this field. So there you guys go. I'm gonna run all of those tests, and then I'm gonna bring you guys back in after those tests are done, just so we can take a look at the results and see if it's actually worthwhile to repair your harvester as you go. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, so some interesting results. Um, I'm gonna put a chart up on your screen here in a second. Um, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna put that chart up. So on the chart, you can see we got a few things here. I did get rid of a couple of the tests because I felt they were unnecessary after we got some of the initial results. So you can see for test one in all three of these boxes, it was 29,689 liters we got um, off of the uh, off of the field and that was with 0% damage, zero hours on the harvester and the harvester was zero months old. Um, as long as the results are within 10 liters of that, um, I called it 0% in terms of the percent loss. So I called it just to be the standard um, there because some of them were a couple liters away, but not really as significant enough or significant in any way. So then we go across the uh, test for the damage. At 30% damage, we only got a little bit of a reduction. You can see 0.2%, but it definitely was significant enough. It was about 50 or so liters. Um, it was definitely significant enough to note. Then once we got to 50% damage, it really started to take a big hit. Um, at 50% damage, we only got 26,000 liters off the field, which was an 11% decrease in yield. At 80%, we had 21,000 off the field, which was a 28% decrease, so really significant. And then at 100%, it seemed to top out at... Um, well, so we had 17,000 liters is what we harvested and we got a 40% yield deficit. So if you don't repair your harvester regularly, um, you're gonna get a deficit. So it looks like though you can go up to about 30% and still be pretty much safe. Um, honestly, uh, 50 liters over the course of this field is really nothing at the end of the day. Um, it's just 
a few dollars out of your pocket there. So as long as you're repairing regularly and you're not letting it get down to like, you know, past 30%, honestly, is what I would say. Um, it seems like it's pretty, pretty effective and you're, you're, you're good to go. So just, you don't have to repair it every 10% or anything like that. Every 30%, I'd recommend getting uh, either a service trailer or something out there to be able to repair, or you can take your harvester back and get it repaired. So you're not getting a yield deficit. Um, then if we go down to the test regarding the hours on the vehicle, um, obviously at zero hours, we have the same 29,689. And then at 50 hours, we had 29,683. So six liters away. So I called that, uh, the same. And then the next one was almost outside of it at a thousand hours. We had 29,680 liters of, uh, harvest off there. So it was about 0% still. Now I think that one was low, lower because at greater amounts of hours, we know our vehicles get damaged faster. So the vehicle at the end of that test would have been more damaged than the vehicle at the end of the first test with zero hours on it. So, um, that's what I think the difference is down there. Now, if we get down to the age of the harvester, that seemed to matter really not at all. Matter of fact, according to our results, technically speaking, it was better to have an older harvester because at zero was 29,689. Then at 12 months, you got um, 692 liters at the end there, so an extra three liters. And at 120 months, you got an extra liter. So it really didn't have any effect on it at all. Um, so that was really an interesting statistics test there, interesting statistic there. But yes, definitely repair your harvester and I recommend repairing it before it hits 30% or at 30% is what I think is a good safe way to start repairing it. Now, obviously between 30 and 50, that escalates quite quickly. So I didn't do any ex extra tests on there. I wanted to see what this would look like. Uh, but honestly, 30% is a pretty reasonable spot to repair. It takes a little while to get to 30%. So I think as long as you're repairing at 30%, you'll be fine. And we know from the damage test, the sooner you repair, the better. So you may repair sooner just because it's cheaper for you. So that's the other option you have as well. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to take a look at that. Um, I will be doing some additional repair tests to take a look at more things as we go through. So hopefully you found this guys or you guys found this test useful in some way. Um, if you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.